What's up guys, back here with another educational video and this week we are talking about building muscle and burning fat at the same time. Also known as body recomposition. I know this is a hot topic right now and for great reason. Who wouldn't want to build muscle and burn fat at the same time? So first off, let's talk about whether or not it's possible to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. And the answer is absolutely. It is absolutely possible to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. However, it comes down to a question of scale and population. If we are talking about building significant amounts of lean body mass, I'm not talking like half a pound or a pound. I'm talking about pounds of lean body mass that aren't just water that actually stay for basically forever so as long as you keep lifting weights while at the same time burning significant amounts of body fat and again i'm not talking about oh well you know gained half a pound of lean body mass and i'm down a half pound of fat that's not what we're talking about we're talking about significant changes in lean body mass and fat mass can it be done at the same time yes it can However, it's typically reserved for a few different categories of people. The first is people who are new to lifting weights or are coming back to lifting weights after a long layoff. When you're part of this population, even if you're in an energy deficit, the growth response is so powerful that it's kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You need to build significant amounts of muscle because of the stress that's being imposed by the new stimulus of resistance training, and that is energetically expensive. Now, if you're eating at, say, maintenance, or even in a slight deficit, what's going to happen is you're going to be liberating a lot of free fatty acids from adipose tissue to help provide energy so that more of the food or fuel that you're eating can be used to go towards that building of muscle tissue, especially with sparing of amino acids for protein synthesis. So that's one category. The next category of people that could recomp to a significant degree would be obese people. So when you have a lot of fat mass, your body doesn't really sense an energy deficit the same way. If you're at maintenance, I'm not sure how much recomping you're gonna do. You probably still build some muscle. I'm not sure how much fat you would burn if you're obese. However, if you are obese and you're in a slight deficit or even a heavy deficit, you might still be able to build some muscle during the time that you're in an energy deficit. This is because you have such a large reserve of energy stores that your body isn't gonna sense being in a deficit the same way. And the last category of people that can recomp to a significant degree are people on performance enhancing drugs and anabolic steroids. So anabolic steroids and performance enhancing drugs are what's called nutrient partitioning agents where again, they're providing such a strong stimulus to lean body tissue that it's robbing energy from fat to help build this tissue. So if you're at maintenance, you're going to be building lean body mass and losing body fat. Now, there's one more category of folks, and that is any combination of the three categories I just listed. If you're new to training, obese, or on steroids, you can significantly experience body recomposition. If you've been training for a long time and you're relatively lean, you could still experience some body recomposition, but it's likely to be very, very small. And in my experience, the people who try to chase two rabbits end up catching neither. There was a new study that came out that actually showed that an energy deficit appears to inhibit maximizing lean tissue deposition. So I'm not saying you can't do it, you just can't do it to the same degree being in an energy deficit as you can in an energy surplus. And it makes sense. In an energy surplus, you have excess energy to spare amino acids from oxidation and go towards muscle protein synthesis and those sorts of things, as opposed to being in a deficit where amino acid oxidation is gonna be elevated and protein degradation is gonna be elevated. And further, let me give you my own anecdote. When I started lifting weights, I was about 140 pounds and on calipers, I was about 8% body fat. On calipers right now, I'm about the same percentage body fat. I might be a little bit closer to nine and I'm currently 
about 208 to 210 pounds depending on the morning. When I started lifting, I did not want to gain fat and I wanted to build muscle. I don't think I was gonna recomp my way to 70 pounds of lean body mass. I don't have any studies I can cite on that. I just really, really, really doubt it. I haven't seen many people do it. If you are going to build mass, it requires energy and it requires time. In my experience, you're better off focusing on one goal, either fat loss or muscle building, and then doing the other goal. The problem is a lot of people say, well, I was bulking and I got fat. Yeah, because you ate like an idiot. You ate way too much because you're impatient and in an effort to see the scale move, you just started slamming down junk food instead of being patient and being in the small energy surplus and taking your time, you fulked, which is effort bulking. I don't recommend that. I recommend a very slight energy surplus done over a long period of time. And then once you've gotten to your goal, or at least your medium term goal, doing a fat loss phase to strip back off the fat so you can see what you've actually built. And therein lies the rub. While you're building it, you usually don't see it because you're gaining lean body mass and some fat mass at the same time, and that fat mass obscures the lean body mass you've built. So you gotta have a little bit of faith in the process. Again, I'm not saying you have to get fat, I'm not saying you have to get uncomfortable, but if you want to put on significant amounts of lean body mass, it's a good idea to spend extended periods of time in a modest surplus. If you look at the best natural bodybuilders in history who made big improvements to their physiques, almost all of them took extended periods of time away from competing so that they could go into extended off seasons and add the requisite amount of muscle mass they needed to be competitive and then they use their fat loss phases to reveal it. So my advice to you, pick one, focus on it, then pick another and focus on it. If you are somebody who fits into one of the three categories, then perhaps you could recomp, but you'd probably still build lean body mass a little bit quicker if you were in a slight energy surplus. It all boils down to your goals and what your time frames are and what you're willing to accommodate. But if you're somebody who's interested in building a really impressive physique with a lot of muscle mass, my advice to you is spend more time in a slight energy surplus than you spend in a deficit. You are not going to diet your way to a muscular physique. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, click the like button, click the subscribe button. If you need help, with gaining lean body mass or what to do with your nutrition so that you can enter a gaining phase and not put on slabs of fat, check out our coaching app, Carbon Diet Coach. It does reverse dieting as well as lean gaining and it's a great tool for that. I use it myself and I think you guys will love it. Catch you next week.